We still can't hear you, Sean. What? No, still, we cannot still, hear you. Damn. We can hear you when you lean forward and talk loud, but that's not sustainable. <laughs> that's true. Um, any better? No. Um, a little bit better. What but about that? Not good. Oh, much is better. That, is that better? Yeah, much better. Yeah. Okay. All right. So tell me if I cut out again. <clears throat> I got a new microphone, or maybe it's not so great. I thought it would be great, but all right. So um, welcome, everybody. And I thought it would be good, or we all thought it would be good, maybe to just start the new year out talking about what we want to accomplish this year or our goals for the new year. Anybody have any? Yuhui, it looks like you've lost some weight. Yes, thank you. Thank you yeah. for that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first thing I, I, I want to say and I set my the first goal in the in this year. Keep, okay. Keep, keep losing weight. Make me look healthy. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. Um, <clears throat> does anybody have any, uh, any chaos goals? I know we ended last year talking a little bit about, um, you know, completing the review of released metrics, doing some handbook updates. Uh, this is all in the <clears throat> meeting minutes. Oops, yeah. down below. Uh, I think the first thing I'm thinking about uh, is about uh, the the chaos community in China. Uh, we will keep uh, working on that together with uh, Xiaoya, who uh, have uh, made a uh, lot of contribution on that. And in this year, we will continue to do that. Excellent. That's a good goal. I don't know if we have that. Uh... Increase chaos. Yeah, I think there's this increased chaos connections in China, which is a little bit different than developing the community there. But I think I think that is is part of the overall chaos projects goal of strengthening the relationship that we have with mm -hmm. the community in Asia and then China specifically. Yeah, because I'm thinking about, you know, um, we we have plan after Chinese New Year. I mean, the Spring F Festival, we will hold a uh, we will hold our bi-weekly meeting in in uh, chaos china so uh, what's the topic we are going to cho choose in the following uh, the meeting mm -hmm. i'm thinking about it in the last uh, several weeks so uh, i haven't uh, had the time to discuss with you guys and discuss with uh, with Xiaoya, but uh, here i pull I, I pop up some ideas here uh, okay <clears throat> do you want to show your screen or yeah, no Okay. I, I have nothing okay. in my room, but just okay. talking. Sorry. Very good. <laughs> because I have uh, in the last week, in the last uh, uh, one month, I spent a lot of time to reading the literatures in the past uh, who related to the open source uh, community health and uh, how to marry that. And there's different. Uh, different kind of um, literatures in the past 20 years pop up. Uh, so I found that there are so many good uh, ideas or concept trending, uh, change from the beginning of the 2000 and, and until, until today. The, the, uh, the focus area is changing. And especially when, when the, when the uh, corporations engage engaged in the open source community. So I would like to share the uh, liter uh, ideas coming from the uh, literatures to read some papers, research results, uh, to share some results with, with, the, with the people who attend this meeting. At the one of the, I mean, the fixed point, uh, the, the, uh, the fixed point topic, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's one of my idea. So, what do you say, Xiaoya, <clears throat> and the other guys? Yeah, I think uh, knowledge sharing is really a good format for the meeting. And um, another thing I'm thinking about is 
uh, things matrix model is one of the, uh, the the important aim that is also going to um, be um, pushed forward in chaos and also um, like um, uh, it's personally from my lab we are uh, kind of publishing the uh, github report for uh, 2022 and we also think think about the measurements so um, and um, uh, we kind of uh, uh, there there are several 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 metrics and maybe it's more appropriate to call it metrics models like activity like um, influence like uh, I know there is also metrics in the value working group called popularity and these are what we um, maybe uh, think is more um, um, is more appropriate to call it metrics models and um, this is uh, maybe I, I know it's um, it, it's um, it's not easy maybe it's <clears throat> even not so feasible uh, in um, one year but uh, maybe we can think about the structure of the whole metric whole, whole metrics of chaos like there are some uh, there are some metrics that just uh, reflect the attributes of the data it's mm -hmm. just like yeah uh, maybe we can call it just meta metrics like fork like uh pull requests and but it doesn't show it it, it it if we think about measurements from the goal it, it, this kind of metrics we know like how many forks during a, a certain period it can help us to make decisions but maybe other metrics like popularity like even the social listening the um um, maybe I, I'm thinking of maybe we need a different kind of hierarch hierarch <laughs> like the structure of of this matrix and um, we we we're thinking about um, like uh, contributing some of the metrics metrics uh, or, or metric <clears throat> or, or measurements from um, what we are doing in our lab uh, to the chaos. And we, we can discuss this in the metrics models um, meetings, but I think th this is also one of the topic we can um, put in the biweekly chaos Ch China meetings. Yep, yep, that's right. Um, I think I think if there are metrics being developed in your lab that you want to share. Certainly, if you identify a community, so are you developing metrics or metrics models? I yeah. think it's more appropriate to call mm. them metrics models. Okay. Um, yeah, we are still working on that. Um, yeah, yeah. I, 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 sh I, I shared uh, the report of last year to the mm -hmm. Chaos blog post, and one, yep. uh, once this is published, I will share, 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 share that. Okay. Again, I, it's pretty much similar to last year. Okay, that's not, that would be great. Yep. Do you have an English version, right? Oh no, we are still working on the Chinese version. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Then it's your next job to to do the translation. I can help you. Out yes. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay. The things that you just mentioned about uh, metrics model related to the activity, popularity, and other things. I think today the June will pop up uh, some some practice use the. Uh, uh, those uh, metrics uh, in in their in her uh, community. I mean the Open Ola community. So uh, later on, maybe she can pop up yeah. uh, his practice in the community about yeah. these thinkings. Yep. These are metrics models developed for Open Euler? Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> Talking about uh, metrics uh, models, yeah. Um, uh, okay, I'll just continue. Um, about metrics models, another <clears throat> perspective I was thinking, and I I remember this was once popped up on the chaos manualist, but um, um, uh, 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 maybe we, we we haven't progressed, have no progress on that yet. Uh, is uh, looking from the community structure from the graphs perspective and mm -hmm. I think yeah that's one of the things maybe we can look into um, mm -hmm. yeah 
you mean you you mean using a matrix model to 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 describe the con community structure so from from which pers perspective from the governance or from the operation or, or development I, um, could you explain <clears throat> a little bit yeah i just think maybe we can um because uh the online collaboration in open source is kind of like a social network so we can really use a graph to um represent the structure of the community but i haven't think that very clear but um maybe it's more appropriate to be um compiled as a matrix model but i think using graph as a perspective to describe or to measure uh, a community is one way we can look into oh, yeah great All right, <clears throat> I sketched out a goal. I'm not sure if that's quite it, but I, I do understand, I think what you're talking about with regards to the network structure. Yeah, I think yeah. that's exactly what. Oh, by the <clears throat> way, uh, uh, have you have you finished, uh, Soya? Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. I, I just pop up the, uh, the another thinking because, you know, Soya, we just uh, discussed that we need to uh, uh, arrange another meetup uh, this year. I mean, this, uh, this uh, after maybe after Spring Festival, the place yes. would, uh, would choose that in Shanghai? Or? Okay, I think Shanghai is a good idea. <laughs> okay, so so we, we, can, we can knock on that. So we are gonna hold up another meetup in China for <laughs> uh, in Shanghai, uh, maybe after Spring Festival. Do you want do you want to change another city? Uh, <laughs> you have some suggestions. <laughs> <clears throat> Any yeah. suggestions for a different city? <laughs> Shenzhen. Shenzhen. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We can we can we can think about it because because uh, I think uh, we can hold hold, hold up. Uh, at least the two uh, meet up uh, this year, uh, first half year and uh, and uh, and uh, and the next half year. Uh, do you have any ideas, uh, uh, June, about our Asia Pacific mm. show? I I saw Li Zi. Um, they try to propose some modules like a recommended module, recommended uh, uh, students to some other um, to um, recommend uh, uh, maybe recommended deploy de uh, developer like this. Mm -hmm. Do we have to put uh, put uh, this recommended module or some other? Uh you, you mean the recommendation mo matrix model, right? Oh, uh, recommenders? Yes. You mean like yes. a recommend? Recommendation, yeah. <laughs> what would be the um, matrix, or what would be the recommendations that you're looking for? Is it like a recommender system for suggesting uh, related communities, or <clears throat> what would be the goal there? The goal, maybe we we maybe we trying to uh, trying to find some people to uh, work with work with them to finish our our work, and uh, we can simply to find which one is more popular uh, more suitable with us. <clears throat> okay. You mean the, to identify who is the the most active people, uh, developers or contributors from people uh, from our uh, community, and uh, yeah. uh, uh, make some recognition mm. on those people to do the uh, to get them to motivate to join this, to the this a, Just so I'm sure I understand, this is a computational recommender system, or this is a like individual I'm recommending this other person kind of recommendation system. 
uh, I think it should be in the, in the individual. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And uh, we also have uh, many competition, competition, uh, open source competition in China. So, um, you mean the com there... competition? You mean the competitor, the, the competitor communities, right? Or... Yeah. All contest. <clears throat> Uh, like uh, next summer competition, next summer. Ah, uh -huh, sorry. You yeah. The, uh, like uh, Google Summer Summer Code. Yeah, like Google Summer Code. <clears throat> we 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 got uh, so many students, but we cannot find out which one is best for us, or like this. Okay. So you will be using this recommendation system. To, to find yeah. out who is the you know the most active uh, students and who are uh, uh, super interesting on, on 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 the job in the community or work. Yeah. yeah. Great. All right. I think mean, I think I think we've covered quite a number of goals for 2022. Are are there any other high level goals? We talked about chaos community development, regular meetings, metrics model development. Are there any other top level goals that uh, people have in the in their minds? Do you have any new mm. new plans about uh, chaos cast in China, Xiaoya? Oh yes. Uh, um <laughs> but I, I I I have a I have an appointment with Richard R Richard in in Huawei in Huawei Cloud oh, and yeah. he, oh. he was like super busy. <laughs> we 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 <laughs> we should have a, a recording this the actually during this evening but um he was too busy so um well, I think I will, um, um, but yeah, I think metrics model could be one, a very good conversation, but I don't just, I, I, I think it, it doesn't have to be show up so early, but I think maybe we can discuss later that um, uh, we can have one episode about metrics model or any other topics uh Ye Hui or dream are interested yeah sure. um but uh another another episode i was thinking but i i still um <clears throat> trying to find um the um guests uh to talk about uh the recently news um uh, faker js i'm not uh -huh. sure if yeah that that um the author uh, put some serious bug in his um, project. And I think this is um, a, a problem related, related to the sustainable um, of the project, like um, who is responsible for the funding of, um, of open source maintainers and um, how should the users, especially commercial companies, um, pay for this um, yeah. open source components uh, whom they are relying re relying on? Okay, so so I mean, you want to pop up some new episode around some hot topic related to the uh, the uh, the things just pop up from the uh, from open source communities news. Like uh, the yeah. recent news is about uh, Faker, Faker JS, uh, this uh, open source con uh, project. So yes, I, I think, I think it, it really, yeah, it, it related to, also it's part of the issues around the whole, uh, maybe not the whole, but uh, open source ecosystem, the health of the project and the sustainable of the project. And um, to zoom in is about um, the maintainer, maybe the maintainer burnout. And yeah. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, I, I also share the same similar idea that uh, if this open source community <clears throat> is uh, pop up by an uh, individual uh, maintainers, not not included uh, or funded by by some corporations, um, it would meet some problem about funding, about resources problem. Uh, I, uh, I think Faker JS is uh, the, just the example for that. Uh, we can discuss a little bit about it uh, uh, during this episode. Yeah. Okay. I have a comment here. So sorry, I, sorry, I had to step aside, but no problem. Um, so just listening to you talk, are you familiar with, do you know Dwayne O'Brien from Indeed? So Dwayne runs the open source program office at indeed.com which is a hiring website here in the US. And he's really interested in um, identifying why companies support open source projects. So like, what is the, what's the rationale? So like, you know, why would Indeed fund an open source project, for example, or why would Huawei fund an open source project? Like what's the the strategy or the, the interest behind that? So I don't know if any of that would fit here because he's trying to develop a group of people who are exploring this idea. And you had just talked about listening to talk, Shoya, just about sustainability of projects and the roles of companies. Maybe there's a connection here as well. Yes. Um, so I think um the companies um have uh there is uh um they they have the need it doesn't like they don't want to uh fund those um open source uh components or projects but uh they really need to identify uh whom they should or worse to fund off and how many money they they sh they should they should put into it and how to give them the money and maybe there this is a problem related to mechanism and measurements like how to measure uh, the value of the project and the maintainers or contributors into it and um and um, distribute money to them Okay, I, listening listening to you talk, I think that sounds quite similar to what Dwayne is interested in. Um, yeah, because from my understanding, at least the Huawei to to uh, draw deeply uh, in the open source community is coming from the beginning idea is like to to, to adopt adopt the open source quickly, and uh, and in order to speed up the the, the adoptions. We have to uh, attend these communities uh, in person because because you 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 cannot evaluate if this open source project is good or not from the distance. You have to join it as uh, active members or, or contributors or, or developers in these communities. This is our first purpose to do the adoptions. The other things is about. Uh, Actually, it's kind of a business model. <laughs> we set up the whole ecosystem around this open source project or communities to say if if could help us to to set up, set up the this ecosystems surrounding it. <clears throat> it so it's a, it's purely business purpose. <laughs> you know, something else that is interesting, I think, is. Um, that I've seen open source projects that get funded, but then aren't sure what to do with that money or the best way to spend the money. So that's like a, a separate piece, obviously, but um, I think that's also ties into what we're talking about here. So I don't know how you would want to integrate that or if you would, but I think it's an interesting piece as well, that it's more than just getting funded, but it's also helping projects figure out what to do with that money and spend it in the best way. Yes, 
so that's one of the topic I'm thinking of <laughs> um, and ar arising from the recently Faker JS news. Because uh, like everyone was talking about uh, companies doesn't want to um, pay for the open source uh, authors, but they just use them for free and ask for mm -hmm. even the services. But um, maybe companies, some some company, they, 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 they want to, um, they they want to donate the money, but they really don't know how, how to give this money to, um, to those authors and um, give how, how, how much, like, um, like how much money that they need or worth, worth off. So yeah, I think in, in, in China chaos, uh, this community, I mean, there are many people um, their background is uh, is a uh, corporation is a member of corporations from OSPO. Uh, some companies also OSPO. We can um, get those people together to uh, to hold up uh, a series of uh, episodes around this uh, corporation engagement in the open source community and how to evaluate uh, the health of the open source community. And we can do some some talks on that. Okay, great. So Sh Shoya and June and Yehui and Sean, nice to meet you. Um, like what, what do you need? What would you need support wise to move some of these forward in the new year? You know, like I look at like chaos cast, like China chaos cast, do you want us to connect you with like Georg? You know what I mean? To help with the podcast. Like, should we post them there? Like things like that. Or do you want to do it yourself? Happy to help in any way here. Yeah. I th yes, I think uh, Xiaoya has already has, uh, got a lot of support from Georg when, they set, when, he, when she set up the, the, the chaos cast in China. So we will keep connecting with the with the Georg around this, and also about the the whole discussion result. Oh, if we get any good summaries from 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 those episodes, we can we can contribute thing as uh, as metrics or metrics model, or even we can get up some topics discussed here in extra Pacific meeting, or or sharing it. Uh, uh, with you guys. Okay. Um, would you, do you think for the chaos cast, these are just examples, you, would you need like editing support? So one of the things that we do, even just for the, the English versions of the chaos cast, you know, like you have your podcast that you put together and what is talked about is quite different than actually what gets <laughs> published online because you have an editor help you to improve. Make it look, make it sound good. Make it sound good, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so do you need editorial support? Because it's it's kind of tedious sometimes, and I think we could provide support there as well. Yeah, we, we would love to. And also we, we are kind of uh, looking for some funding or support, but uh, especially editing, but I don't think that's something um, from the western world the english speaking world uh, could um, help because no. all the conversations no. are in chinese so no, i was always saying that you would find your own editing support and we would help support that <laughs> yeah i'm sure there are chinese podcasts that other, you have experienced people to help edit you could find them at least yeah um I think that's something I can talk to Ye Hui or um, for the editing support. Sure, of course. Okay. I'm, oh, I'm no thinking problem. about if uh, maybe after Spring Festival, we I can fly to Shanghai to, to have some uh, detailed discussion with you. So, yeah. yeah, sure. When is Spring Festival for those of us who don't know? Uh, um, it's just, uh, 
18 days later. It's a real new year for us. But I mean, what, what time of the year is that? Like yeah. spring? Uh, it, <clears throat> when does it start? February, uh, February 1st. That's okay. the spring festival. And right. we, we kind of start one, one week uh, before that date. And one week after that, date, that's the whole, uh, whole holiday for us. Okay. Yeah. That's similar like Christmas in December. It's whole month is for Christmas. Ah, uh, okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, totally, I get that. No, good, good. Uh, putting it in context for us Westerners that we get. So should we should we cancel the meeting? <clears throat> uh, do we have a meeting on twenty seventh, sixth? We'll have one one of those days or one of the weeks. Oh yeah, the twenty sixth. Should we yeah. cancel that one because that'll be the week before? Yeah. Could be. Maybe oh, we can still have one meeting on 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 twenty six, but uh, the next meeting should should be canceled. Okay. Okay. The next meeting is uh, on February nine. February nine. February nine. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so looking looking at this list, it looks like a lot of it is continuing. Yeah, to... yeah. Uh, I also uh, just pop up one thing that uh, about the translation part. Uh, I mean, sh of course, we should uh, continue to uh, following the uh, our translation work on the metrics and the metrics model, and also we are thinking of that uh, uh, in the metrics on the web page. Could we add some uh, Chinese version uh, in in that web page uh, uh, to about metrics descriptions <clears throat> and definitions? Because we we already uh, have that version. Are you where would you want to add this? I mean, the answer is yes. I'm just trying to make sure I understand where where you would want uh, to add in the web page about uh, let me try details. Chaos web page uh, uh, related to the metrics. Is it just that page I put in? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to do so. Uh, to, might work seems slower. Okay. Okay. So this one. Yeah. So what would you? What do you want to add? Maybe each of the uh, metrics descriptions we can have uh, one button uh, or link. Add a link to say <coughs> you can click the, on this one. It's about Chinese version. If you want to see that. So like on that, Sean, can you go to that um, page? I can. There you go. So scroll down a little bit. So like a Chinese button here in this zone. Uh, I mean, uh, I mean, for each of the single metrics. <laughs> right. So like a new column that says like Chinese translation. Is that right? Yes, exactly. Okay. Yes, clone like clone here. We have the English version is yeah. SKM mm -hmm. and default, and we have another button or link to see the Chinese version. Everyone can can yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that makes a lot of sense because right now it's all Sean. If you scrolled up, yeah, it's all in English. It's all when it's all just that PDF right there. Mm -hmm. This one. That's the only. Well, the, oh, the Chinese that's, PDF. That's the yeah. only one that like takes us to the Chinese. Translation. Yeah. 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 If it was embedded in the website. That would be great. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how hard it would be to make a just a Chinese version of this page available. <clears throat> well, that's what that PDF is. Yeah. No, but I mean, if there was like in oh. web, there's like a, I'm not an expert in this, but there is a thing in web development where you can make a, Ch you know, multiple language version I get what of your page. And right, I don't know the, if, the whole thing. Yeah, I just don't. I don't know if that's more difficult or less difficult to to maintain than the, something like the buttons for each metric. Okay. 
Mm. It, it may rely on to the UI framework the website is using. WordPress. Um, maybe uh, if it su su support uh, like international uh, I18M um, office whole framework, <laughs> website framework. Mm -hmm. It probably um, does, or there's probably a plugin for WordPress that would do that. I, I just think my, my question is, would that be more or less work than uh, maintain, you know, we're already maintaining the translations for each metric. So putting a button in here, I think probably we would just leverage that work directly. And I don't I hope. Yeah. Let me go ahead. I was just let me contact Kevin. He usually mm -hmm. he can come mm -hmm. up with like a few options generally. Yeah, but, but yeah, I remember, so, yeah. Because he might say, yeah, like translating the whole page, not gonna happen, or <laughs> adding buttons, super easy. You know what I mean? Like he, yeah. he has a way better sense of what can be done. Because um, he'll be the one doing it. Yes. So, and he's the one that maintains all of this. So let me just connect with him, and then maybe in two weeks, um, I could ask Kevin to join, and he could talk through a couple options. Okay, that's all for my. <coughs> oh, by the way, uh, here I just introduced a new friend here called Chen Qi. He just joined our uh, meeting first time. He actually, he just joined the Chaos community uh, this week. Maybe Chen Qi, you can, you can say hi to everyone. Um, hi, hi everyone. Um, my name is Shan Chen Qi. Um, and I am interested in chaos, especially metrics and uh, Grimory Lab. Um, and I have made some contribution on Grimory Lab Gitty uh, with uh, Wang Yihui's help. And uh, this is uh, the first time I pass mm -hmm. participated in the chaos meeting. And uh, I want to have more discussion with you to make more contribution. Welcome. Oh, welcome. Great to have you here. Yeah, welcome. Very, welcome. 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 Um, <clears throat> thank you. So, okay. Uh, Jin, you 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 want to show okay. something about uh, uh, about uh, the metrics or, or practice using the chaos? I will I will show a link and please help me to open it. Yeah. Remember, you just we, we just have ten minutes, so speed up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will quickly, <clears throat> quickly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I just uh, to figure out one. Oh, uh, you can send the link to here. Share the link here. Could you open open? Open the meeting link. Uh, which one? It's in the minutes, Sean. At the bottom. Oh, right. okay. There we go. Mm -hmm. Boom. Yeah. I wasn't seeing the. Uh, I have to. Okay. Clicking a link in this. I haven't. This one is how we. We need access. Project. Okay. Do you want to share your screen or you can give me access, whichever you prefer? Yeah, maybe you can share your screen. Um, you have to make her. I, 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 I will use my phone so I cannot share. Oh, my okay. Screen. okay. All right. Sorry. Is, is there someone uh, that has access to the document that could share it? Yeah. It, maybe you would help, sure, help sure. me to can, share. I can, I can open it. Wait a minute. Uh, wait a Make you hoi koho, Sean. I'm doing that right now. Uh -huh. Should be okay. done. <clears throat> One second. Okay, that's coming. I'm going to share my screen. Okay. Okay. Let me see it. Can I see it now? Yes. Okay. Great. This is only one uh, metric in in open you in open Uner, 
an open source community, and uh, we have so many SIG. SIG it means uh, interesting, interesting group. It means SIG. And now we have uh, uh, 95 SIG. Wow. So we try, yeah. <laughs> so we're trying to figure out which one is active, which one is not active. So we, we found one chaos metric. It means uh, it it is a pro it is a project of popular popularity popularity metric, and we're trying to use metric to figure out uh, uh, which 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 thing is more active. Um, but we. <clears throat> Um, but we use this metric, we find some problem. Uh, and uh, we, we cannot use one number to, we cannot use one number to, to <coughs> mean uh, six, six uh, active, six, six popular. So, Um, so um, we trying to find uh, some some math to um tr we trying to find some math to to figure out uh, uh, uh the active the active number and we found one math about uh, critically cr critically over like like this link. And yeah, we could. Uh, uh, do you need I to open that? You open it up or critical okay. scores? Critical scores. Okay. Crit okay. Yeah. Critical. Focus. Okay. Oh. Yeah, maybe it's hard it's to figure out. Yeah. Um. Yeah. This math uh, is trying to get uh, one number, uh, the number range is zero to one. The number range is zero to one, and uh, we can say we can say it. This is a math, and uh, uh, the active the active value uh, is between between zero to one, and the why it means. <clears throat> The one is it means uh, not active. Uh, the uh, the zero value it means uh, not active, and uh, the one value means uh, most active. And we can say uh, how to figure out. <coughs> can say the next uh, metric. Down. Scroll down, right? Okay. Scroll down. Okay. And um, down again. Okay. Let's I go down, just so. uh, <laughs> yeah, just uh, see this table. Oh, ah, this table. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The math is we use this table to to figure out uh, the uh active value, and. Uh, we can say we in this table we have uh, we have uh, three three we have we have three value. The first is parameters. It means uh, our metric. And uh, for example, we have a uh, uh, poor request count, and okay. maybe we have a meeting meeting number. The second, the second value is the the second value is the weight. Weight weight is means, uh, uh, how metric, um, and the metric the it means the it, the weight is a matrix weight, and uh, for example <laughs> the pro the pro request has five. It means uh, they have we we have to. They have uh, more. <clears throat> they have more. Um, it means uh, pull request is more important. But and, what I what I see that's really 
interesting and important here for people to notice is that there is yes. a, there's a specification of these parameters and different parameters in the criticality store in the criticality score repository and what it looks like you're doing is you're modifying the parameters to suit what you've observed as the nature of the open oiler community yes mm -hmm. sounds like this yeah, and and also the the weight is count from the AI mechanism. Ah, so that, that's an yeah. that's important that you're discerning the weight from an unsupervised yeah. machine yeah. learning algorithm. Yeah, it's not from some coding <laughs> values decided by based on some experiences. It's all about uh, coming from co uh, calculated based AI. On AI. Okay. Yeah. Right. Right. Uh, June. Yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Thanks yeah. for thanks for okay. driving that yeah. home. Yeah. So so we we use this and to to figure out uh, our sig value sig active value. So we can <clears throat> so we can simply say uh, uh sig active value and uh, simply to rank ranking ranking sig. And we can also dynamically see the changes no, in I, the active of each thing. What I might suggest for that pie chart that you include the top 10 SIGs in the pie chart and then include others so that people can have a sense of how much of the total activity in the 91 SIGs is in those 10. So in other words, like it would be powerful if that if those 10 constituted like 50% or more of all the activity uh -huh. in all the SIGs. Okay. So this is just okay. them relative to each other, which makes it look flatter, I think, than it probably really is. Mm -hmm. sure. Just okay. a thought. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, and this could be other other. <clears throat> other SIG, yeah. Yep. Just a thought. Take it, leave it, ignore it. It's okay. Yeah, this this is all I want to talk. <laughs> okay. Maybe yeah. maybe um uh, I, I that's I'm very not cool. Sure, yeah, I'm not sure is it uh, uh added to <clears throat> project a popularity metric in chaos. I'm not not sure about that. <clears throat> you mean like the reference or, or yeah, like like a reference or some visualization example i'm not sure yeah i'll this would live in a sure. value working group so i can i'll definitely bring this up there yeah yeah great june if you could provide public access to the document that would help a lot okay maybe yeah because then i can bring it up over there because i think that meeting is at a different time so uh -huh. yeah change am yeah. i allowed to do this we'll find out <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay cool thanks june this is really interesting yeah thanks. very yeah. interesting well i think that's about time yeah. so thank you everybody and it sounds like we'll meet again in two weeks, but then in all likelihood, we will not meet on February 9th because of Spring Festival. Yeah. Thank you. So, okay. Thank you, everybody. Good to see everybody. Good to see everyone. Bye. Yeah. Bye. 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 Thank you.